Planet Side 2, despite being such an amazing game that no one else can replicate, is having trouble retaining its player base. The viewership for this game is at an all-time low, pretty much non-existent if you try and search it up on Twitch. And if we look at the Steam charts for the game, it's not looking too hot. Constantly in the red, losing players on the daily. But why is this? Of course a game from 2012 is bound to lose players and interest over time, but that doesn't really paint the whole picture. Every multiplayer game has a constant cycle of losing players and gaining players, and it would seem that Planet Side is having trouble obtaining players that are new to the game. Now, the game is certainly daunting to new players whose experience boils down to getting spawn killed over and over. Lucky enough to pick up even a couple of kills before going down, a cog in the machine, a simple soldier on the battlefield. A drastic difference from other first-person shooters such as Call of Duty or Overwatch. But that isn't their main reason that the game sucks for new players, and that's why I wanted to talk about the topic of toxicity in Planetside. I first joined the game in 2013, a year after its release, and I can safely say that in 2021, the game has increasingly frowned upon new players joining, and an elitist mindset has taken control from the players who have been around since the beginning. The experience varies from server to server, but for this video we're going to be talking about the West Coast server known as Connery. This experience is largely in part because of the actions of an outfit, aka clans in the game that you can create, known as the Wild Cards. I started playing again after a long break, and upon entering to the game I started to hear Mike spamming from a prominent member that goes by the name of Zelklin. I asked him why he was doing this, and if we could just talk strategy. Because in this instance, I'm sort of a new player, I had just come back to the game after a long break, but he continued to ignore me and play Minecraft music, until a lot of the other new players got mad and just quit the game altogether. This is a bad look for anyone who is just getting into the game and wants to figure out what it's all about. Furthermore, I was minding my own business attempting to protect a point that was set up in the middle of nowhere, and someone who was on the same team as me decided to start spawn killing me. This is unacceptable. Hello? Yeah, what's up? Why are you being toxic? Why are you team killing me? I didn't even do anything Why to you. Am I toxic? Why are you toxic? What the fuck? I didn't even do anything. Why did you do that? It would appear that the developers do not care about toxic actions from the community considering they allow team killing in their game in the first place. It is also extremely easy to bypass the soft lock that they put on people who frequently team kill simply by logging off and then logging back in to reset it. After getting upset after being spawn killed by this guy for about 5 minutes I decided to send in a report for this guy and then I checked back 4 days later and he still wasn't banned or punished in any way. Now the wild cards have been an established outfit on the game for quite some time, but over time they have become increasingly elitist, and I attempted to hop onto their discord to see what's up, and they don't even allow new players to join. That's right, if you're a new player, you cannot join the only relevant outfit in the entire game. They have a soft cap of battle rank 40 before you are allowed to join their faction. So I decided to message some of them privately on Discord to see if I could get any tips, any advice, so that I could get better at the game and hopefully achieve some sort of rank in their guild, their faction, their elitist group. But instead of getting advice, most of them ignored me, didn't even respond to the message, some of them blocked me. Going back into the main game, not Discord shenanigans, if you attempt to join any of their squad voice chats, they just kick you on sight. That's right, if you are not someone recognizable to them in any way, shape, or form, or if you say, hey guys, I'm a new player, where do I go to help you guys out, they just kick you. 
The main harassers, no pun intended, in the wild card are Squelchy, The Holy Yet Man, Matty C, and Hakoda the Red. Now the minor nitpicking of an entire outfit aside, this is a two-front battle. It is on the community to enable new players to succeed, to not team kill them, to not mic spam, to not kick from the squad, to fully accept new players in their entirety, and try to help them learn the game. And it is up to the developers to stop toxic behavior such as team killing, and mic spamming, and kicking players for no reason, and saying to report them. So what do you guys think we should do to improve the community? Is Planet Side 2 destined to a future of mediocrity? Or can it find space in an increasingly competitive genre that is pushing it out as we speak? Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And let me know if you have any ideas for future videos. I'll see you guys next time.